Miss Julie Hires, please come forward and state your name and address for the record, please. Julie Hires, 23 Crestwood West, South Austin, Georgia, 31602. Again, I'm Julie Hires. I am the founding principal of Centella Charter Academy, a pro a proposed charter school coming to the Valdosta Lounge area in August 2015. Here I wanted to inform you all about what a charter school is, what Centilla can bring to Valdosta, and then where we are in our petition process. A charter school is a public school anyone can attend, uh, whether you're a Wildcat or a Viking or a Valent or homeschooled or go to a parochial school, you can come to um, a charter school. Charter schools typically do not provide transportation. We will not be providing transportation at Scintilla, but we have ensured that that will not be a barrier. We have support letters from parents, from our board members stating that we will provide transportation. If it has to be a carpool, if it has to be um, teachers going to pick up students. We've had a pastor step up and say that we could use his bus vans during the week to help us get the students that need to be there. A charter school does require a parent to sign a contract and um, have so many service hours in the school. We understand that parents can't come. My mom worked three jobs. She could never come to the school. We understand that. So if it's something that the parents can take home, cut out, staple, put together, if it's something they can do on the weekend, help us with the landscaping or help us clean the school, we're going to work with the parent and the child on that. That is not going to keep them from having to enroll at Centella Charter Academy. Where we are in our process, we applied to both Valdosta and Lowndes, and um, we were denied locally, which we respect and understand their decision. So in the meantime, we have been preparing to go to the state. We went to the state and interviewed with the commission there, August 28th, I believe. And then um, they came out with the recommendations. Four schools were approved. Those schools that were approved were denied last year. Eleven schools were denied, and then four schools were deferred. We were one of the four. And what they're wanting now is just more documentation that are we truly targeting the area we say we're going to target? Is there a need and demand for a charter school in Valdosta? How are we going to tackle the transportation issue? So as far as Scintilla, it is an elementary school, kindergarten through fifth. The first year will be K through three. The next year we'll add fourth and then fifth. We'll have 480 students when we max out. Very small, very intimate, want that family environment. Um, as the leader, it's important that I know every child's name. I know who's raising them. I know the mom, the dad, the aunt. There'll be four teachers per grade, 20 students per class. In kindergarten, they'll have a paraeducator. And then when they get through first through fifth, the teachers will be subject specific. So Joyce, all day you will teach writing because that's what you're best at. Richard, you the math guru, so all day you will teach math. Demarcus, you will teach science and social studies, and Clay, you will teach reading. And that way a teacher's not spread out. I remember when I was in the classroom, it was hard to try to get everything in. I'm not a math person, so guess what? My babies didn't get math. But at Centella, we can focus on one. Also, we will do looping, so who you have in kindergarten, you'll have in first. So whoever um, I have in second grade for my math teacher, I'll have that person in third and then fourth and fifth. We'll have extended day, 7.30 to 4.30. We will offer Spanish. We will offer keyboarding as long with um, computer science classes. We want to model ourselves a lot of Ron Clark Academy. Not sure if you've heard of um, the Academy in Atlanta. Phenomenal educator. but. Just a very family oriented. Uh, we will do project based learning, very hands on. The kids have a choice and a voice. We will do service learning. The kids will go out into the community, work at the food bank, pick up trash on the road, um, and then turn around and have to present that to their peers and to community members. Let's say they go to VSU, pick up trash. Well, let's turn around and present it to the students at VSU. Hey, you need to keep your campus a little bit cleaner. This is why. Because uh, the students need to be able to speak in front of um, adults and in front of peers. So thank you for letting me come and share my passion and joy of Scintilla. We are submitting the rest of our uh, documentation in September 15th. And then September 24th, we will travel to Atlanta, and they will give us the, our recommendation. So if you have any questions, concerns, you have my contact, and I'll be emailing all of you. So, again, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Harris. Yeah, next.